Okay, guys, it's Alec Pierce Scuba, Vintage Scuba. We're just having a laugh here, Kevin and I, about these scuba tanks. Uh, I said there's no hydro stamp on this, so I don't know exactly how old it is. It looks old. Uh, just judging from the logo, it's a white 50 cubic foot uh, Voigt tank, steel, half inch valve. I'm going to guess this is from the early 60s, 61, 62 thereabouts. Pretty popular tank. Oh yeah, and these, this size tank was very popular, particularly for smaller divers. Uh, ladies or small divers, kids wore these an awful lot. And these tanks were very visible. What I mean is that uh, they, had, they were white, which was a little bit unusual. Tanks in those days were almost all gray. And they had that very attractive and very distinctive Voigt, big Voigt V on them, uh, uh, which, was, which was very visible too. Voigt was a very, very large company in the 50s and 60s. Uh, they pretty much wrapped up by the late 60s. Very, very big company uh, and, and a lot of their gear. But this, this particular tank, that is this specific tank, is a phony. It's a fake. That's right, yeah. If you see this on CNN, you know it's a fake. <laughs> anyway, what I mean by a fake is this. It looks like a tank, smells like a tank, works like a tank, but it's not a scuba tank. Let me show you what I mean. Let's take this valve out of the top. This is a genuine valve. This tank has a genuine half-inch, as they all did in the 50s and 60s, half-inch tapered pipe thread valve, and I happen to have lots of old valves, so this half-inch tapered pipe thread valve fits right in there, and it's easier if I turn the tank. And out it comes, you see, dip there, so it's a standard valve. But the nice thing about this tank is I don't want to drop it and cry, uh, uh, because, because it's very heavy, as you can see. <laughs> this tank doesn't weigh anything. Yeah. Uh, this tank is made of balsa wood. There you go, one finger. Okay, uh, made of balsa wood. It looks just like a tank, but it's not a tank. Well, what the heck is it? Painted, logo, the whole darn thing. This is a prop. That's what it is. This is a prop. Now, if you think about all the movies, television ads, uh, uh, TV, by, by the 50s and 60s, there were, there were TV shows now that, that used uh, scuba tanks. That were, that were shot, some of them were shot underwater. And many of them had uh, smaller, smaller divers. A lot of them had ladies in them who were not able to handle sometimes the bigger tanks. And uh, often there was, these folks were standing on a beach. It could be an ad. I mean, I have ads. You've seen some of them if you've looked at my uh, vintage, earlier vintage uh, uh, episodes. We have ads for, I don't know, Oldsmobile. There's a beautiful big Oldsmobile parked on the beach. And standing behind the Oldsmobile, there's a very attractive uh, lady with fins on. And she's reaching into the trunk of the Oldsmobile to pull out a spear gun or something. And she's got a scuba tank on her back. Trust me. That's not a real scuba tank. There's no way. She wouldn't have that smile on her face if she really had this 50-pound, 40-pound scuba tank on her back. So these were quite common. Now, it also brings to mind to me, anyway, another interesting aspect. Uh, it, it has been, for many, many years, a, a bit of a, I don't know if it's a myth so much as, a, as a, 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 a conspiracy theory, I'm not sure what you call it, that in a lot of the TV series, and I'm thinking specifically about uh, movies uh, like Thunderball, uh, around the world under the sea, and very specifically, I'm thinking about Sea Hunt. Uh, and uh, yeah, as you probably know from my Sea Hunt playlist, I'm, I don't want to use the word expert, but I know a lot about Sea Hunt. Uh, uh, there's been this urban myth that the tanks used on Sea Hunt were balsa wood tanks to make it easier for the actors. You know that on more than one occasion, Mike Nelson came out of the water and he climbed a very, very long wooden ladder, a vertical wooden ladder. I'm thinking specifically of one episode, you can look, at, look it up yourself on YouTube, it's called The Birthday Present. My favorite episode of all 155 Sea Hunt episodes, The Birthday Present. Very, very special that show for several reasons, not the least of which uh, Jeff Bridges was in it. He was about, I don't know, six years old, maybe thereabouts. And uh, in that particular episode, Mike Nelson climbed a very long, I'm going to stick my neck out and guess a 30 or 40 foot long vertical wooden ladder. He had in one hand a bicycle. And this is a bicycle from the 50s. If you're, if you're old enough and you, and you think about a bicycle from the 50s, it weren't like today. They weren't made of carbon fiber or titanium. They were made of steel. That's right. A bicycle in the 50s, I had one, would weigh 50 or 60 pounds. Anyway, he had this bicycle in one hand, and he had on twin tanks, 
stubbles on his back. And he had his fins on. And he had his mask on his forehead. And he one-handed up this wooden ladder 30 or 40 feet to get up to the dock to give the bicycle back to the little boy who lost it on his birthday. It's a great episode. You should watch it. Well, Mike Nelson, like Bridges, was in incredible shape in those days. He was almost 50 years old, but he was incredibly fit, strong and very, very fit. I wouldn't doubt for one minute but what those twin tanks on his back were real twin tanks. Two of these, two tanks like this, steel on his back. I wouldn't doubt but what they were real. He certainly struggles up that ladder as if they were real. Boggy was a very good actor. So I can't say for sure. I'm not going to say they were balsa. I just don't know. I don't think anybody knows anymore. However, that myth has persisted, and here is a balsa tank that was used in the movies in the 50s and 60s, right there. And I have another tank to show you as well. This tank is the more standard sized uh, uh, 72, the standard tank that was used by scuba divers for years and years and years. Standard 72, let me see if I can get it out of here without dropping it. Okay, and this also has a half inch valve in it. <clears throat> And I'll take the half inch valve out of the end of this tank and I'll just show you standard valve, a real valve. Oh, this tank. And you see that this tank is pretty light. This tank is even lighter than the Balsa Wood 50. And there's a reason for that. This tank is hollow. This tank is made of plastic or maybe a very early form of fiberglass. There's actually a hole in the bottom. I think it's fiberglass, not exactly sure. But this tank is, doesn't weigh anything. This tank doesn't weigh. I don't think it weighs, what do you think, Kevin, two pounds? Might weigh two pounds. So there is a 72 cubic foot tank, just to prove that in some cases, don't ask me when, where, or why, but in some cases, in those underwater movies, underwater episodes, TV, Sea Hunt, and so on, that tanks like this were used. Yes, fake scuba tanks. Interestingly enough, the last two Sea Hunt events at Silver Springs, Florida, that myself and all the Sea Hunt group, the big Sea Hunt group, puts on. And if you go to my playlist, Sea Hunt Remembered, you will see, I think Kevin just posted the, uh, the latest episode, a video about our latest episode in Silver Springs doing a Sea Hunt Remembered event for all the visitors, glass bottom boats, in the actual location where Sea Hunt was filmed. We just did one. Uh, we had a fake scuba tank. <laughs> Alan, uh, one of our senior members, uh, asked me some time ago to make a scuba tank on my wood lathe. So I, I took a, a block of wood and made a fake scuba tank, just turned it on the lathe, made it so we could put a valve on the top, and Alan made up an antique harness, and we used that to shoot pictures of the kids holding sea hunt gear. It was pretty neat. So the idea is not all that unique. But there you go, guys, vintage scuba. And these are fake scuba tanks used in sea hunt and underwater other underwater films in the 50s and 60s. I thought you might get a kick out of that. I don't know if you have any use for a fake scuba tank. Maybe for a display. Uh, take your wife scuba diving. I'm not sure would that work. No, maybe not. Hope you enjoyed that. Alec Pierce Scuba. Talk to you again real soon.